Greetings class, this is Dr. Ogilvy, and I'm going to give you a video tour of the course website. I'm going to access the course which is Bio 530 J3S6 Summer 2019. And I'm, uh, I've logged in with my student account, so what you're seeing is pretty much what, uh, what I'm seeing now and showing to you is what you will see when you arrive at the course uh, each time you visit it. And um, the default page are the, is a course bulletins. They're really announcements, but we like to call them bulletins. So here's bulletin one, welcome to the course. Now, uh, about right here, where the first, uh, the full course website is actually, uh, I'm making it available today, Sunday, June the 2nd. So I'm gonna change that uh, in a few moments. And you, and also, I'm going to be posting this video right here, because I recommend you watch this video tour of the course, course website before you do much uh, at all. But then after that, go down and and systematically go through each of these steps. Pay close attention to each of them. Uh, now to re review them very uh, quickly. Your email address is very important to put the email address in your Blackboard prof profile that you check daily. And we do expect you to check the email daily. It doesn't take but a few moments to check email from the course. And make sure that you have set it up as we have instructed here. And then add the course email address, which is this, bioj530 at gmail.com to your contacts. So if you need to reach out to us, uh, we really ask you not to respond to mass emails we send out. If you have a personal matter to, matter to discuss with us, we're here for you. We'd be glad to communicate with you, but please create a new email using that email address and send it to your instructors. And of course, you'll learn that your instructors are myself, Dr. Roger, Dr. Robert Ogilvy, and uh, and also the teaching assistant is Anthony uh, Davis. Dr. Roger Sawyer is a professor in the course, but he's not that active in the course. He's just behind the scenes. And he taught this course for about 30 years face-to-face -face with a microscope lab at the University of South Carolina. But beginning 2011, the course was rolled out uh, to be online. There is a face-to-face -face course taught by Dr. Lydia Matesik in the fall, each fall. This course is taught uh, all year round, fall, spring, and summer semesters. Now the textbook, there's only one text, it's really the lab guide. And if you haven't purchased it, you need to go to the bookstore and purchase it immediately because it's very important to use it in your study for the labs. The, the other text of the course are the lectures and we provide uh, narrated lectures, or you will hear me talking and animations and PowerPoint uh, as an Adobe presenter lecture, but you also will have the PDF of the slides and I'll illustrate that in a few moments. So you should go to the course menu and really read through the syllabus and the two forms of schedules that we have. And if you haven't done that already uh, and get an early start, then tomorrow, uh, get in there and review the syllabus and the schedule and be sure by Wednesday and I believe the deadline and I'm going to pause this a minute so I can uh, make sure I'm telling you the right uh, deadline that is the time on Wednesday June the 5th yes on Wednesday June the 5th the opportunity to take this syllabus quiz and earn 25 points ends at 8 a.m. Wednesday we we want you to do this right away. You need to take the syllabus. If you do not take that syllabus quiz and you procrastinate, you're going to lose the points, but you're going to have to take it anyway because you cannot proceed in the course until you take this syllabus quiz. You're not able to see and access the module folders and the quiz folders. And then the next thing is uh, go to the course menu heading and click on the email check at the top as well as introduce yourself, you have the opportunity to earn extra credit right off. There's 20 points right there that you could put in the bank. 
And then you can go to the course menu heading, the lab resources. It is important to set up to get a link to WebMic and begin to understand how to operate it. And also the BioLucida Bio page to install the BioLucida viewer and set up two cloud accesses, one for studying lab specimens in addition to WebMic specimens, and the other you will need it to take part B of the quizzes and midterm and eventually part C of the final exam. Uh, and you're going to take uh, part B and eventually part C of the final logged into Blackboard within BioLucida. <clears throat> and the next thing is, is go to the course menu heading, graded work, uh, after and only after you take the syllabus quiz can you access the course modules and you'll be able to peruse all the lectures and also under graded work and access quiz exam information where you can learn about the quizzes exam you also can take two sample quizzes so you can get used to the kind of questions that we ask as well as test your BioLucida setup because there's a part B to uh, the, the second uh, sample quiz and then and then I want you to explore the outside resources so now let's just go through the course website briefly First of all, here's your email check. You need to go to the email check and read this and mark it reviewed, which I'm doing now as if I'm a student in this course. That means I will see a list of all those students who have actually read my email and are, no, are now in, in contact by email. Also, introduce yourself. Not very many students have introduced themselves so far. We have this many. But get in there and introduce yourself as soon as you can because the opportunity will uh, disappear June the 8th on Friday at 11.59 p.m. just before midnight. So if you want to earn the credit, uh, which is 10 points. So there you have 10, 20 points. And in a, a little later, I will show you where can, you can earn some more extra credit by taking those sample quizzes. So here's the syllabus and schedule. Uh, read through the syllabus. Uh, understand the two formats of the course schedule. One are the schedule of assignments and two the calendar schedule. Now you're going to see some duplication here but that's okay. Um, you're going to see deadlines but all, also within the module quiz and exam access you're going to see the deadlines there. It's, it doesn't hurt to have information in several places we have found by experience. So, uh, and then the course staff, here's myself, a little bit about me, Dr. Sawyer, and our teaching assistant. And the next thing is, uh, is tech and troubleshooting. Uh, we've tried to put some things together to help. If you have any technical issues beyond being able to solve it by accessing this, then um, uh, go to uh, these areas, but then you can post on the discussion board under uh, technology, uh, either in BioLucida or WebMic, uh, and seek help that way. Okay, and so the next are lab resources, WebMic. Now, WebMic, you are the first class to use the new version of WebMic, which is HTML5. And as long as you are using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, you shouldn't have any trouble with WebMic. You can use Safari, Safari and you can use Microsoft Edge, but it's better to use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Make sure that when you, when I'm going through this, you have the opportunity to read this um, review of WebMic that was sent to me by a student who took the spring 2019 course. This PDF and all other PDFs and videos that we put on this course website, we do not put them there because we think they're extracurricular. We put them there because they're very important. So do not take shortcuts. Do not fail to pay attention to everything that we're sharing with you. We've found from experience all these are very important. Now here's two videos to uh, orient you to the um, a narrated tour of the units in WebMic Lab Manual leading up to Unit 3. And then here's video 
uh, uses Unit 3 epithelial tissue to illustrate and demonstrate how to use the lab manual with WebMic. Okay, so the next one is um, Biolucidip. So, Biolucidip setup is pretty self explanatory. Make sure that once you set it up, and if you want to go ahead and and view these uh, videos down here, lab orientation, biolucid specimens, as well as uh, tips for viewing virtual slides, you can view those videos, but until you set up uh, using the Biolucid Viewer installation PDF, and you can also uh, watch a video, will take you the steps of installing those. So be sure you've got to do that right away, and do not procrastinate on any of those setups, and do post on the discussion board if you have a problem. Okay, so the next uh, step is we go to graded work. Now we're going to go to mo course modules. And here you will see that this is where you will find all the module folders. Right now, uh, as a student, you and I, we can watch the introduction and overview lecture and we can download a PDF of the slides and every text. And we can also open this and we can look at the le lecture topics for all 32 lectures and you can actually go and access the PDF of all the lectures in the course. However, it is uh, good to use the PDFs in combination. When I click on this lecture, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a second window and, and here is the lecture and it may not begin immediately so you have to click and play so immediately it's going to start playing and and I suggest that you uh, immediately go and watch this introductory lecture do not procrastinate on that and look at the PDF of the slides because everything that I say in the lecture is printed over here on the side okay so uh, you don't see any module folders and that is because uh, as a student accessing this like you even though I made the quiz available today I can't see the I, I have to take the quiz before I can see these folders so I'm going to pause this or rather I'm going to go to where I, I know the quiz is it's going to be under uh, module quizzes and exams and so here and I don't also I don't see any of the module quiz folders so I've got to take this quiz so I'm just going to open the quiz I'm going to answer one question and submit it and then you will see how I will have access to all those things so here's the first question where can you find instructions on how to access WebMic in a video tour demonstrated works so that's going to be on the course website lab resources so I'm going to save the answer then I'm going to submit it and of course I didn't answer any other questions and I'm sure I mean if I click OK I can see my results and review and I only got one correct answer so um, I'm going to go out of that I'm going to go back to course modules where I couldn't see in those folders and you see there they are and this is where you access uh, this this is uh, also uh, presented to you in the uh, schedule the assignment schedule and we re repeated it here so you can see what you have to do and how much of time it takes for it for this module one and you can also access for each module the learning outcomes and I suggest you put those on your computer or print them out and keep your mind reminding yourself of those learning outcomes and then down here now we have the module one where we're going to be able to oh well the reason that you don't see anything there and I need to make those lectures available which I'm going to do in a moment here because I I I didn't make them available today but I'm going to do that right now okay <clears throat> I'm back uh, and I've released these lectures so now when I click on module lectures you will see the seven lectures for module one you click on the watch lecture number one tissue preparation and that will bring up the uh, another window and you click here to launch and then uh, it will be launched like that 
and if you close it now each one of these lectures there's a quiz at the end and you're given unlimited uh, attempts to answer each question but you have to uh, get the correct answer before you proceed so be sure to take advantage of those quiz questions and uh, submit the lecture and when we you do submit that we will see a check mark beside your name for that lecture and we know that you have actually watched and go all the way through and we can even see how much time you spend in the lecture but we're not grading you on time it's just important that you hear the words you see the animations and you get that input as well as the uh, slides and studying offline uh, and read all the advice that that we give in the syllabus as well as the in the uh, uh, first bulletin so after you've uh, watched all these lectures and studied and you go through the uh, uh, lab exercises and if we go back to uh, module one here you see you're going to do a lab on orientation you're going to do a lab on a tissue identification scheme and you're going to do a lab on histology laboratory exercises now the, the first three labs you're, you're basically setting up a web mic and, and looking at your history laboratory exercises as well as accessing the virtual slides in BioLucida after you've set up that cloud. And then the second one, you're going to use do one it's units one and two in the lab manual and, and study a tissue identification scheme so you can get an algorithm, an idea of how to go about differentiating between epithelial tissue, connective tissue, uh, adipose tissue and eventually in the next module muscle and nerve uh, and then you're going to have a little bit of a clinical uh, application and you have your lab of epithelium connective tissue in this module we give you the time to do that so uh, down here now once you've gone through the lectures and also we give you video tours of each of the biolucid lab specimens including an overview of the whole thing once you set your cloud up, you can watch these video tours and then go and study those specimens in addition to WebMic. And, and it, then once you've done all that, then you should take the graded practice lecture and lab quiz. We give you three attempts and keep the highest score. And you get uh, pretty good feedback between the attempts. And after all three attempts, you, you get to see all the correct answers and so forth. So um, make sure that you uh, take advantage of these and this is going to earn 20 points towards your grade it's not extra credit so you get three attempts there and then the the main module quiz is in a, in a different location so we're going to go there now once once you have uh, gone through all the lectures and re, and also be aware that the graded practice lecture and lab quiz it closes uh, either a day or two or three before the main module quiz and that's because we want to do have this give you a chance to revise some of your learning before you take the main module quiz now where are the main module quizzes well they're back up here module quizzes and exams and here they are and for tomorrow uh, and until Tuesday June the 11th you're going to go through this video here about uh, tips, on, tips on taking the quiz and exam you're going to have to mark this reviewed I'm going to mark it reviewed right now because I won't see the quizzes until I do that but once I do that they show up see there's module 1 quiz part A and module one quiz part B you've got to take part B logged in to blackboard within BioLucida in the cloud for quizzes and exams you set up okay so that's that's where your quizzes are for this module but but there is another quiz that you need to take and that's under quiz exam information and you were instructed in the bulletin to do that and those are the sample quizzes where do you get uh, points for extra credit so you can earn uh, 20 points for this and then 10 point and uh, and I believe this would be worth uh, probably 10 points I need to 
modify it. Let me do that and, and correct that just uh, right now. Okay, the, the points for sample quiz exam part A, lecture topic and web mic specimen questions, is definitely 20 points extra credit. Uh, but this was incorrect. It's 10 points extra credit. So by taking these quizzes where you have three attempts to take them uh, and earn up to 10 points here and then 20 points here, so there's another 30 points for extra credit. Now you may ask, well, why are we giving some extra credit? Because there's 20, 30, and then, and then over here, uh, 40, 50 points already you have for extra credit. Well, that's points in the bank, so to speak. But don't get overconfident. We think it's, well, first of all, we know that if we get, give you extra credit, most students will go in there and do it right away to take advantage of that. Uh, but secondly, uh, this will uh, give you some, some confidence and realize that if you don't do well on the first quiz and you're just getting used to studying this course, you already have some points in the bank. All right, so um, I think that we pretty much, if you're a graduate student in the course, then uh, you will have access uh, to this. And I'm, I've got myself enrolled as a graduate student in the course, at least in, in that group. So if you're a graduate student, this is what you will see. But if you're not a graduate student, you, sh you shouldn't be seeing any of, any of that, OK? Not even this folder down here. OK, so graduate students, pay attention and go in there. And then a discussion board, do take advantage of the discussion board. I see there are seven uh, uh, students that have introduced themselves. And here, actually, we've got um, no post except there was one post here on WebMic technical problems. And this student posted. Uh, said that you couldn't open the web mic except for the help tab, but then the student found it was a browser issue. And then I, I said, well, could you let us know what browser and what version you use so we can understand how we might be able to help with that. But I think if you're using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, you're not going to have a problem. So take advantage of the discuss uh, discussion board. Uh, you can uh, review your my, my grades. Uh, most Usually, we do not put extra credit. See, I've got uh, a half a point uh, accumulated. That's because I took the syllabus quiz. And I have not taken anything else, and I have not viewed any of the lectures. When, I, when, I, when you review, re view the lectures and you take the quiz and submit it, you should see a check mark back here. OK, so I think that that's about it. I said almost 22 minutes. Uh, do take advantage of all the outside resources. Understand that we have provided resources, lectures, narrated PDFs. We provided a web mic lab resource in conjunction with the lab manual and with biolucid specimens and the video tours of the biolucid specimens. But once you've done all that, then go through, down through here, and you can explore out on the internet, even using Google, and say you're learning about the mast cell in connective tissue. Well, do a Google search once you've studied. And look at a few images. Because, for example, if I open up another thing and I type in mast cell, like that, then I can get information about the max mast cell. But I can also get a lot of images of mast cells. Uh, you're going to be, there's a lot of detail here, but if we look at tissue sections, um, which are not a lot here, but you can learn a lot about mast cells. We're not asking you to digest all this information. It's just for reinforcement. Um, and you see, if you click on connective tissue, you see mast cells here. And we'll have some mast cells in the um, web mic program.